Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer, and today I'll be giving you my quick impressions on Lightyear Frontier, which is out now in early access. It is currently at 20% off for £16.79. So it's going to be about £20, £20 once it's out. And as always, before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to help this channel edge ever closer to 10,000 subs. It would mean a lot. Right, let's get on with it. So first up is gameplay. In like Yeah Frontier, you play as a random dude. There's no like customization or anything like that. There's no personality at all. You find yourselves crash landing on a planet. However, luckily for him, it's monitored by a nice little satellite that acts as your coach. So it tells you what to do, what to build, gives you tasks, and generally encourages you. The ultimate goal really here is cleaning up the planet. This helps you upgrade your mech and your crafting potential, which then helps you clean up more of the planet and then rinse and repeat. To help you with this, you have your mech, which to be fair really adds to the game. I would say without the mech, I think this game would be way more boring. One thing I do like about the mech, to be fair, is when you jump out of it, there is a real sense of scale of how small you are compared to the mech. And I think it looks really cool, that transition there. So when you jump out, you can get into little caves or areas your mech can't. Your mech is kind of like a Swiss army knife. So you can change your arm to chop down trees, water things, plant seeds, and farm. So you get all the attachments at the beginning and you just swap between them by pressing the Q button. This may look like a survival game at first glance, but it's far from it. You're not exactly surviving anything. There's no hunger, there's no fall damage. Even if you go into deep water, it just puts a black screen up and then resets you out the water. Your mech doesn't get damaged. There's no concept of damage at all. Like if your mech falls over, you just jump out and flip it back over. There's no danger. You can harvest and mine all night. You don't have to run around trying to find food to keep you going, nothing like that. So if you're expecting a survival game, look elsewhere. This is more of like a tranquil farming game. The type you'd listen to a podcast and chill while playing. Moving on to sounds, graphics and bugs. I think this game looks amazing for an early access game. It's so pretty. Watching the sunrise at one point, almost, not quite, but made me say, wow. The art assets look great. The little creatures all look like they belong in the world and they're really well designed and the things that you build also fit nicely into the environment. Talking of the environment, the map is nicely designed. There's lots of little like signposts almost to tell you where you go and secrets to find places to explore and it's easy to find where to go in these areas. I never kind of got lost with a fairly decent to follow UI as well which is good to see in an early access game. Sound wise, I had no issues here apart from the annoying satellite who has a really annoying voice. It sounded like something you would hear on the mass singer. I found it really annoying and it repeats the same thing over and over again, especially when you're collecting artifacts. It'll be like, I can't wait to analyze that. I can't wait to analyze that. And it's in like 20 times in a row. It gets really annoying. However, the music is pretty well done and the sound effects overall are good. Bugs wise, I didn't see anything too bad. However, I did get trapped in like a little ruined area at one point and I couldn't get out. It took ages. Me like mech was flipping over. The physics had gone weird, but I jumped out and finally managed to get it moved. That's the only issue I ran into. No crashes or anything like that. Next up is Fun Factor. I did enjoy playing this game for the few hours I did. However, I felt I was starting to get a bit bored with it. With it being a bit more on the chilled side of things, I found it was that little bit of grind that you often find these chilled. So you're just waiting for a timer or you're waiting for something to grow or you're having to travel miles to find something new. And it got a little annoying because there's no element of danger or time or having to get back before dark or anything like that. And I think it just dejects from your busy work when there's nothing else to aim for or to worry about there's no like dread to get home and the exploration's not handled great because you can go anywhere almost immediately and I think it should have really had that planet crafter type mechanic which kept you close at the base at the beginning like maybe your mech has a battery that you can only charge back at base just something to keep that exploration exciting because you can just wander off and go anywhere and I felt like that bit of fun was lost for me. 
So overall, this is an early access and what you get out of it is going to depend on how you go into it, I think. So if you go into it wanting a sandbox farm sim that's enjoyable, looks good, it's beautiful, there's a nice sense of progression and there's a niceness about the experience like nothing is going to ruin your day or farm here, I think you will really enjoy it. But if you're going in wanting like a fun, demanding, survival driven adventure here with amazing progression and a story to fill it all in with a challenge, and like me, you might get bored after a few hours. And here lies again, and we see this a lot with early access. Sometimes, yeah, I want to support the developer and play it, but I don't want to play it too much because I know in 18 months time or so, the experience is going to be so much better and complete that I don't want to spend too much time now playing the game, just to have things change. I feel like there could be a great story here, but I think it just needs a challenge. It needs something. And I think for me, the mech is just carrying the game a little bit too much at the moment. I would like to see that balanced out a little bit or used for certain situations, just so you know, you don't feel like you're in there all the time. It's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. There is a good game here. And if you go into it just looking for that sandbox farm sim, I think you'll find lots of hours of interest here. But for me, it needs fleshed out. There needs to be a bit more to it. And I do look forward to coming back at some point. But for the moment, I don't think I'll be playing anymore. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.